Number 39. A 91 man lying on a surface of negligible friction shoves a 68 gram stone away from him, giving it a speed of 4 meters per second. What speed does the man acquire as a result? Okay, so we have a man here. And the surface here doesn't have any friction. And he throws a stone. I suppose it throws a stone that direction so when he throws the stone to the right let's suppose he is pushed to the left and in this case we can see that we don't have any external forces and if the external forces are zero or are negligible we know that the change in the linear momentum is equal to zero this is the equation for the conservation of linear momentum so in this case we only have one dimension so we, we are going to forget the vector over here so in our case the change in the linear momentum should be zero so the initial momentum sorry that's not head here so the initial moment the final momentum minus the initial momentum must be zero so the initial momentum should be equal to the final momentum and we have two different objects here let's call them objects so we have the initial momentum from the man plus the initial momentum from the stone which should be equal to the sum of the final momentum of the man plus the final momentum of the stone so this is the equation that we are going to work with and remember that the momentum is equal to mass times the velocity so in this case it would be the mass of the man times the initial velocity of the man plus the mass of the stone times the initial velocity of the stone which should be equal the mass of the man times the in the final velocity of the man plus the mass of the stone times the final velocity of the stone okay so this is the equation that we are going to use i cannot make any simpler than that okay so the initial velocity of the man and the stone it's zero right because they are lying on a surface they are not moving so this is zero and this is zero okay so zero is equal to the mass of the man times the final velocity of the man plus the mass of the stone times the final velocity of the stone we want the speed of the man or the velocity so we're going to isolate this over here so the final velocity of the man is equal to minus the mass of the stone times the velocity of the stone divided by the mass of the man and this is equal to minus the mass of the stone is 0 0.068 times the velocity of the stone which is 4 divided by the mass of the man which is 91 and this gives us minus 3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters per second so this is the answer of this problem